All right, welcome to my video tutorial about using generative AI to plan units of inquiry. This first video is gonna be about developing the unit overview with a particular focus on writing a statement of inquiry for your MYP units. A lot of teachers struggle to write meaningful statements of inquiry for their MYP units. They might leave out an essential element such as a related concept or an exploration of the global context, or they might frequently um, write a statement of inquiry that is mostly about subject matter instead of about the conceptual learning that's at the heart of the MYP. Um, a lot of times what I've seen as an MYP coordinator is that in a well-intentioned effort to include all of the required parts in an MYP uh, statement of inquiry, the statements just turn into this big word salad that is kind of meaningless and that both teachers and students find it really difficult to work with. So here we're going to focus on using generative AI to make this key part of MYP unit planning a lot easier, right? This is going to be a step-by-step -step guide to writing statements of inquiry. Doesn't matter if you're using Bing chat, like I've got open here on the screen or perplexity AI or chat GPT, it should be a nearly identical process with any of those AI platforms. So first you got to know, your MYP key concepts, your related concepts, your global context, and the subject area content for your unit of study. You should be able to find all of those in your school's existing documentation. If you're planning from scratch, then you'll find those in your local state or national standards. And of course, you need to reference the MYP guide for your subject group, but I'll show you how to include that in your prompt so that you don't have to go digging through those long papers anyway. So first, you're going to open Bing Chat or whatever AI platform you're using, and you want to type in a prompt. Okay. So my prompt here is to write five statements of inquiry for an IBMYP Individuals and Societies Unit of Study about world history that includes the key concept change, the related concepts, systems, and global interactions, and the global context, identities, and relationships. Okay. So here I've told it the subject matter. I've given it a little bit more specificity there by saying it's not just individuals and societies, but it's also world history. I've clearly identified the key concept of change, related concepts of systems and global interactions, and the global context of identities and relationships. I've got all of those in my prompt. Then I tell it that each statement must be a declarative sentence, and I specify that it's not a question because AI seems to to associate the word inquiry with question all the time. And I tell it that each sentence must include explicit references to all of those inputs that I gave it earlier. I simply submit and I wait for it to come up with, with suggestions. I like to give the AI several examples because like the people who programmed it, the AI is still learning and it makes mistakes. So then once it's given me the output that I want, I can review all of those to determine that they do in fact meet the parameters that I put in and to find out or to determine if they make any sense, if they're workable. So here I've got three examples um, or five, I'm sorry, I have five examples um, and I'm going to read through those and see which one, if any, I find to be easiest to work with with students. Okay. Change in world history, evolution, interaction of systems, changing our identities and relationships on a global scale, change in systems throughout history has influenced identities and relationships among nations and cultures. Right. I've got change in political, economic, and social systems over time, new forms of global interactions impacting our identities and relationships. Right study of change in historical systems, insights into complexity of global interactions, right? understanding the change in world history allows us to comprehend the, the development of systems, the nature of interactions and their influence on identities and relationships. I'm a science teacher, so this individuals and societies is not my area of expertise, but as a layman, so to speak, that third statement right there is the one that makes the most sense to me and that I think would be clearest for taking to my students. 
right? You want to keep your prompt as simple and precise as possible to direct the AI exactly where you want it to go. Right? Um, that's how you end up with at least a workable statement of inquiry. If you think this needs a little bit of tweaking, you can either do it yourself or you can prompt the AI to suggest five iterations or five new ideas of this particular statement. So you get it even more narrowly focused. Right? And you can use this exact same approach with any subject area, right? So instead of individuals and societies, if I'm teaching visual arts, um, here you go, five statements of inquiry. I've got my, I've got my subject group, visual arts. I've got some content, the expressionist movement. I have a key concept of communication, related concepts of audience and expression and a global context of identities and relationships. Right? And again, I'm going to tell it each statement must be a declarative sentence, not a question that addresses key and related concepts and the global context. Input, wait to see what it produces. And then I evaluate that and I just tweak it. Expressionist movement, communication, audience, expression, identities, and relationships. Number two, communication, expression, identities, and relationship, audience. Number three, communication, express, audience, identities, relationships. Right? They're all there. Some of these sentences are better than others, but they're all there. Particularly for teachers who are new to the MYP or who don't have a lot of experience with the MYP, I have found that this generative AI is a great way to create a bunch of ideas that meet the program requirements and follow standards and practices so that the teacher can then focus on building the inquiry rather than writing a simple statement like this. I hope you found this video helpful. I'll be back in the future with more ideas on how to use generative AI to improve your planning as an MYP teacher.